And these are tips that we used throughout school and we just thought it was time to share them with you guys so you can do well in school. We have been straight A students for our entire lives. Some of us have been even straight A plus students. <laughs> You're gonna call the body? <laughs> <laughs> so we're really excited to share these things with you. So before we get into this video, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat so you'll be the first to see when anything exciting and new happens. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Try to get it to 1,000 likes so you can see more videos like this with Roxy and me. So yeah, if you want to see some secrets on how you can get straight A's at school, then just keep watching. First things first is to create a study space away from distractions. Add things that will inspire you and motivate you to accomplish your goals. Always make sure that you have the right stationery and any other supplies you need so that you can stay focused. Think of this as a space where you will be both comfortable and productive. Feel free to add bright colors and personalize it because you will be spending a lot of time here. Don't ever let your desk get too cluttered as this will become a distraction. Think of your desk as a study sanctuary where you will always get excited to just go there and get your work done. Tip number two is create a to-do list that helps you prioritize. At the end of the day, write down what needs to be done for that day, week or month. I... This includes assignments that need to be finished, exams that you have to study for and projects that need to be handed in. Baby, so... One of the biggest lies you can tell yourself is that you will remember, but don't fall for that trap. Write it down just to be on the safe side. This will also give you an idea of the tasks that need to be done and how you should organize your time. And not gonna lie, it feels so good to scratch something off your list. The third tip is to file and organize your notes. You need to create a place for everything. So when you're ready for exams, you won't have to be digging through piles of papers for your notes. A good tip is to carry a stapler or paper clips to school. Whenever you get loose pages for each subject like handouts from your teachers, Staple them or clip them together and put them into one folder. Carrying this one general folder to school is much easier than carrying one for each class. At home, sort through your folder and file all of your subject notes and handouts into separate folders for each subject or an accordion folder. If you need to add anything to your notes, be sure to secure it with binder clips or paper clips and staples like before. An accordion folder is very useful because it has a ton of pockets and you can separate it into multiple subjects so you can have all your notes in one place. Tip number four is to focus on weaker areas. You have to know your strengths and weaknesses. If you're really good at one subject, get those assignments out of the way so you have a lot more time to focus on the ones that need more attention. For instance, if you're good at biology, put aside 30 minutes to learn to draw an annotated diagram. Once that is done, you can move on to a harder subject that may require 2-3 to three hours, like a chemistry lab report or an essay that you have to write. It is better to get the smaller ones out of the way so at least you can fully dedicate your time without worrying that you have like 10 more things to do. The fifth tip is to revise what you did in school. Every day, go over what you learned since the content is fresh in your mind. You don't want to let everything pile up because that is when it becomes too difficult to remember what you learned like 5 days ago. So when you're at school, a tip is to use sticky notes to write down chapters that you have to read and questions that you have to answer. That way, when you get home and pull out your textbooks and notebooks, you'll know exactly what you have to do. It may seem like it's a hard thing to do, but when you put it into practice, it will become easier to revise every day when you get home from school. Tip number six is to do extra research. Think outside the classroom and use other resources. Don't limit yourself to textbooks. There's a whole other world on the internet. If you come across a topic that's difficult, don't sweat it. Just look on the internet to find websites that have animations and diagrams that can help you visualize and understand your topic. Don't forget to take notes from these sites and add it to your school notes so that when it's time to revise, you'll have everything in one place. 
Another tip is to go to the library instead of buying additional textbooks. The library is free so you can borrow these books just to read up on the subject. The last tip is to never give up. Don't frustrate or beat up yourself when you can't understand a topic or when you're having problems with schoolwork. Take a deep breath or take a break if you have to. Clear everything from your desk. Reorganize yourself and start from scratch. Remember that this frustration is just a feeling. It's not permanent and it happens to everyone. The important thing is realizing this and moving past it. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way. So that's a wrap for our 7 secrets to straight A's. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to get this to 1000 likes if you want more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe on your way out so you won't miss a thing. We'll, we'll see, see you in our next video. video. Bye! Mwah. What do y'all want to say? Anything? You guys, they like, like photo video bombed us so we'll film it. Yeah. Mama before I die, I, I, just give me where you never run, boy, run. This one.